Naperville Central facing a tall task in the Red Division quarterfinals, number three seed Glenbrook North and goalie Nate Berger standing in the way of a semifinal berth. Scoreless in the first, John McNally, laser of a pass for Alex Crane in the slot. Great connection, Spartans on the board first. At the other end, a lot of this in the first period. Red Hawk shots getting saved by Berger. Darren Sonneson turned away. Second period now, Zach Knudsen from the point, saved but it's not covered. Chaos in the crease, and Mitch Castleman, the one credited with a Spartan goal, two zip. Central back on the attack, but the Hawks continue to come up empty. Scott Dunsire denied by Berger's trapper. Same deal for Chris Zajac, frustration mounts. And this one add to it. Under 20 seconds, Jared Epstein fights for the rebound in front of the Hawk net, 3-0 after two. Third period, Spartans continue to attack. Nick Day and Epstein share the puck. Day buries the backhand. Then Spartans put in a fifth late in the period. Chris Zhang finishes this one. Zajac would put one in the net, but it's too little too late. I felt pretty confident in the last couple games, and my defense was letting me see all the pucks, and I know that if I'm seeing them and I'm on top of my crease, uh, I'm going to make the first save, so hopefully uh, they just keep bailing me out and I can keep making the first save for them. You know, we were struggling from the get-go, and it hurt us. We uh, just couldn't get any momentum going. They, they run a little bit of a trap uh, against us, and we didn't handle it very well. And, you know, being down 3 nothing against them going into the third period is a tough task. We came out and we proved, I mean, everybody in our league and proved to everybody in the state that, I mean, we're still out here and we're still playing good hockey. I mean, I'm excited for the boys next year that they come and do the same thing. Um, now, I wish we could have gotten the win in the cup, but same thing. I mean, we're going to go farther in the state, but you know, at the end of the day, like, it's something to be proud of. I mean, we're the final, you know, final eight teams in the state. It's nothing to hang your head low on.